What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here playing some video games. I was just checking out some news and this is a little bit different than what I normally do. So uh, definitely sound off in the comments below if this is something you guys are kind of interested in, these type of stories. If not, let me know and I probably won't be doing many more of them. But uh, let me start this video by saying that I love playing video games, I enjoy them, it's probably my favorite way in the world to waste time. But unfortunately I can't play video games all the time, I gotta come into the adult world and find out what's going on in it. And there's a lot of dumb shit that happens in this world, there are lots of uh, wrongs that shouldn't exist. And uh, one thing I gotta say, I think children are to be protected, I love you know children, I, I think that keeping a child's innocence is extremely important in this day and age, not letting them you know, be corrupted by society or keeping them you know, physically safe from perverts and animals in the street and you know, fingers out of the socket. I'm a, I'm a hardcore child loving person, I got four of them. And so when I see stories like this it really really pisses me off that there are people who actually get some kind of rise out of torturing a child that cannot defend itself, a child that is totally helpless, a child that looks to you for protection. There are some real fucked up people in this world. You guys let me know what you think about this story. West Con Township, Pennsylvania police say a man and his girlfriend were charged with brutally murdering the woman's three-year-old son. Now these are the people. Gary Fellenbaum and Jillian Tate were arrested Thursday morning. On Tuesday, authorities were called to their residence on a report of an unresponsive child. EMTs found three-year-old Scott McMillan, which is this chick's son, suffering from bruises, lacerations, and puncture wounds all over his body. Felonbaum, Tate, and another witness confessed that the boy had been beaten with blunt and sharp objects, whipped, taped to a chair with electrical tape, and beaten, and hung up by his feet, and beaten, leading to his death. Now let me get this straight, okay, the little boy had been beaten, that's one beaten, with blunt and sharp objects, whipped, taped to a chair with electrical tape, beaten again, hung up by his feet, and beaten again. So that's just three incidents that they are actually, you know, saying that they're that they're guilty of, but I'm telling you now, it's probably more than that. According to police, they beat the boy to death using handmade weapons like a whip, a curtain rod, and an aluminum strip. Tate told police that beating began when the boy wouldn't eat his breakfast. Now my kids do some crazy stuff. My kids, my daughter, she doesn't like to eat all the time. I wish some shit like this would happen. Oh my God, people are so fucked up. Uh, this is a quote. Little Scotty McMillan is dead, Chester County District Attorney Tom Hogan said. Over a three day period, he was systematically tortured and beaten to death. He was punched in the face and in the stomach. He was scourged with a homemade whip. He was lashed with a metal rod. He was tied to a chair and beaten. He was tied upside down by his feet and beaten. His head was smashed through a wall. They smashed his three-year-old boy's head through a wall. Tate said Felonbaum routinely beat her six-year-old and three-year-old boys. On one occasion she she said he strung the boys up by their feet and beat them while she and Felonbaum laughed. Now she told the police this. This bitch right here needs the death penalty. The six-year-old boy, her other son, is now in the care of relatives. They need to do background checks on these relatives to make sure they're not as corrupt and twisted as this mother. Felonbaum and Tate are both charged with murder, and Hogan said he will be seeking the death penalty. Well, bravo, Mr. Hogan. Um, law enforcement veterans told the news agency that they had never seen a child abuse murder like this one. Stuff like this. People in this world really need to take a step back, take a breath. There's so much going on, there's so much bullshit on TV, so many people don't give a damn about anything but a child. A three-year-old child to do this to a child is just the most corrupt and evil you could ever be. There's a woman who lives two buildings down from me, well there was two women actually, a woman and her partner, who uh, beat, their, beat one of their daughter to death, a three-year-old girl, beat her to death, and the same situation happened here about two to, two to three months ago. Uh, I am for, for uh, death penalties in situations like this. If you hurt a child, a, a small person who cannot defend themselves, if you make a child who hasn't lived, who hasn't even began to live a life, go through this kind of stuff, I think you should definitely get the, you should be penalized to the very maximum of the law. Life without parole, uh, if you're lucky, but chance, chances are that's what they'll probably get. But more than likely, I would prefer death penalty in a situation like this, especially with a mother 
who sat and watched her own son die. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this story. You know, people do some incredibly evil, stupid shit. And sometimes I like to find out about it, read about it, and I guess share with you guys. But thanks for watching the gameplay. I'm the PC Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm trying to push him with a stupid shield. We're in control. We're winning this fight. Keep that lead strong, baby. Damn it. Oh. Call the drop shot, motherfucker. Oh, get out the air, bitch. I know I must have caught her at least two or three And that's how you do Good it. Good job, Atlas. Smash that ass. You see that eye right there, baby? That grudge, I can see you behind them bushes.